Good morning and the grand rising to you all. The North Father's in the house. Man, I had a hard day yesterday, man. <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm here. I'm up early, early this morning. I haven't gotten any sleep, but I'm still here. The North Father is definitely in the house talking about Tim Norman. Today marks day nine of the trial. Jury is in the deliberations. That panel, that jury panel is doing the best they can to obtain any information. Pertaining to the case to help them come up with a verdict. They're looking over testimony from Daryl Howitt, the star basketball player out of Missouri that took the money from Tim Norman, allegedly. Tim Norman said he didn't give him nothing. But he got himself mixed up in this mess. And he had a bas basketball career going on. Let's see how this trial affects his career. Sometimes you just can't get mixed up in a, in a mess. You know what I'm saying? You know, you allegedly give Travell Hill $5,000 for his role in this murder for hire, murder conspiracy. Rest in peace, Dre. Dre day all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? I said it, and I mean it. I always said it. Dre day all day, every day. You know, the deliberating part is kind of difficult because you have 11 people on that panel, and they all must vote unanimously guilty. One vote of not guilty versus 10 that is voting guilty, they usually get sent back until that last person votes guilty to make it unanimous. It could end up in a mistrial. But this won't, this trial won't end up in a mistrial. Trust me, that judge is not having it. He's not letting no mistrials float past his way. No way, no how. And did Tim do himself a service by trying to pull uh, Johnny Conquering Part 2 with his tes testimony? Trying to put his hood logic into the jury's brain and the jurors don't know nothing about hood logic. So he tried to add a different twist to try to convince this, these jurors that he's innocent. We sure as hell about to find out. Many, many people have their eyes and ears Tune this to this. The internet has basically taken over this whole court proceedings. I mean, it's on the news and everything like that. But social media has become the way of the world. And if you look at the Tim Norman trial and the, and the events and the blogs of the content creators leading up to this trial, you'll see why. Social media have taken over completely. Shout out to all the content creators that put their times and efforts into this trial. If the jurors consisted of a panel of people that watch YouTube all day, every every day, especially the eyes and ears tuned into this trial, man, this thing would have been over a long time ago. <laughs> oh, man. You had that kind of jury, it'd have been over. Instead, you have 11 blind mice, allegedly. Not three blind mice. You have 11 blind mice who knows nothing about Tim Norman, who knows nothing about the case, who know nothing about the hood, 
who don't know nothing about Sweetie Pies. Their decisions have been put to the test. That's why they were selected, because they allegedly don't know anything about the livelihoods of the people in this case. But we're going to come up with an answer. I predict an answer will be just about due today. I also predict Monday this whole thing will be over. That's, you know, the arrest for the, for the weekend, and Monday will be the bombshell decision here. I asked y'all, what do y'all think about this trial yes, yesterday? I'm going to ask y'all again. What do y'all think about this trial? Is he guilty? But this time, if you feel he's guilty, why do you think, if you was a jury, not for what you heard and seen and read over, over the time, but you as a juror, what would convince you that Tim Norman is guilty? And if he's innocent, what make you, if he was to be innocent, innocent what, if the, what if they voted him not guilty? What would you base that decision on? Let me know them two things. If he's guilty, why? If he, if he would be not guilty, why? This is the North Father. Stay tuned. Because t- today's Friday. And I feel something's going down today. It's going down leading up to Monday to the final decision in this case. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you all soon. I love you all. Peace.